Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if I sound like this. I'm just having some issues. Uh, you can check the community post to see what's wrong and what's going on. Uh, but I wanted to go over a few things. So I'm going to put RuneScape over here and we're going to have a little chat about some changes. So this is Hyper uh, Menu, completely rebuilt in Quick Shell. Uh, fully functions, does all of its stuff, and the only real issue is it's unable to open up certain wine applications. I mean, it opens up uh, Affinity fine, but um, Speed uh, something or other, I believe, does not open. Uh, what is it called? Speed Test. Right? Right there. Last time I tried, this didn't open, and it still does not want to open. Uh... I animated the Ethernet icon, as you can see. So, damn it, where's the click radius for this? There it is. Okay, is there something going on that's closing this? Uh, there's a weather widget now, which is nice. And once the weather widget updates, you should see how nice it looks. It'll tell you the current weather and as well as the seven day forecast. When it decides to load, there's also a button to make it load. So seven days, there it is. Uh, I made it as professional looking as I could, putting in such a tiny space. So I hope you appreciate that. It also tells you your wind speed and other stuff. And if you, if there's like a weather alert going on, like cold, snowstorm, stuff like that thunderstorm uh it will tell you through a notification which is kind of cool you know so yeah uh i also cleaned up some spacing on the bar i really don't know why that's acting like that that's not supposed to do that which is annoying i think it's a side effect of the fact that i removed the panels from all the other windows i'll have to fix that afterwards but the auto detection on if you're using Wi-Fi or not is there, so it will use Ethernet if you have it, and use Wi-Fi if you have it, so the icons will swap. Uh, I implemented a new system for icons in the dock, which is nice. You can also drag and drop, so you can organize your bar. Uh, so let's say if you, I don't know what the hell that is. Where would the, where'd my mouse go? Oh, so that's RuneScape. So RuneScape doesn't have an icon. There's still a few issues with it, but, you know, there's issues with everything in life. Uh, so if we go here, this is the old one. Actually need to go to the right one. So you can hear that I'm a little out of it. Uh, read me stuff. Okay, that's the last thing I did. So I rewrote this. It's no longer a change log. But um, it goes over a lot of the cool stuff, including everything needed to use this which is probably very useful for you. The configuration, the widgets, the layout, the even some key binds and stuff. I still have to keep writing it, but it also has mentions and more. Uh, if you look here, there's a script for installing the thing, which is really nice. I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it yet. I wrote it to the best of my ability, but I just don't know. Because I haven't had time to test it. I was going to test it today. But then all this stuff happened. So I'm just... Um, I'm not in the mood. So uh, there's an issues tab here now. And if you want to test it out. And it has any problems in a VM or anything. Uh, feel free to post there. So that works. It, it should work pretty well. There's a browser selection. It grabs everything you need everything so uh, again if you want to choose your browser you can you can choose your terminal as well it uses nautilus but you can change it out to use whatever you want after it's installed yeah uh there you go sorry uh again just just sitting here playing runescape trying to figure out an alternative solution to at least survive one more month until i get this fixed Again, the post will explain what's going on, hopefully. I'm not really good at writing things out, but those are so far the 
current changes at least. I, I am trying to get the dock to um, change icons when you set icon system wide. That way people can use their own icons. But I don't really know how to pull that off. I'm still learning. I have to write an entire system for that because Quickshell doesn't have that ability. So there it is. Anyway, if you want to open up a pull request to try to help with that, if you can figure that out, feel free. I know that some of you who watch are developers and can probably uh, do it a lot quicker than I can. So yeah, uh, any help is welcome with this little project of mine. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, again, check the community post and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And no, I do not have a video going over how to set this up. I'm not there yet. I will get there one day soon, hopefully. Bye, everybody.